guys, this is my tutorial for a Tropical Vibes pink marble tumbler and acrylic keychain. I've had several of you guys ask me how I prep my tumbler, so I thought I'd show you really quick. I mark the bottom of my tumbler so I know where to put my tape, tape the bottom, and then I wet sand. If I'm glittering a tumbler, I then spray paint or paint on a base color, but since we're using a vinyl design as our base for this tumbler, I just left it stainless. what I wanted to make this week, I realized I have never made a marble tumbler before. Like an actual marble design, not one of my abstract tilt your head and squint things that I call myself making. And since I've been using vinyl and sticky sheets as a road map lately, I decided to keep with that tradition and use this pink marble sticky sheet from Mr. Nola's Glitter. Normally I make two tumblers, but I only had one sheet of the marble so I couldn't, but I did have enough for a keychain so I went with that. discussed before in some of my other videos, you can of course slap some epoxy on here and be done, but we're extra on this page fam. And seams irk me for some reason. I have no idea why, they just do. So we're gonna camouflage it with some mica powders as well as add some veining in the marble. The seam won't be completely covered on this layer, so don't freak out. We love adding depth to our tumbler, so we'll be doing another layer after this one to camouflage it some more.
While this layer cures, let's do the same thing that we did on the tumbler on our keychain. We'll be adding some mica flakes to give some color shift as well as camouflage our seam just a little bit more. I've had some comments about me having too many layers, but fam, please don't feel like you need to do exactly what I do. If you only want to do one layer, go for it. If you want to be extra personified and do 10 layers, do it. Hopefully there'll be some thin layers because that would be a hefty cup, but it's your cup and your design. Do what you want. layer cure and let's do the exact same thing on our keychain. Instead of epoxy, you can definitely use UV resin. I mean, absolutely use UV resin if you have it. But I always have leftover epoxy after I epoxy my cups. So I decided to use my leftover epoxy from my tumbler and put it on my keychain. But please feel free to use UV resin if you want. I'll be actually using it later to finish it up. Now let's add our palm leaves. I got these leaves from Creative Fabrica, but I'll be sure to post a link below in the description box if you'd like to use them. And you guys, I am now obsessed with making foil water slides with my laser printer, but if you do not have a laser printer, you can definitely use regular gold foil vinyl or gold vinyl or even holographic vinyl would look amazing on this design.
I let my water slide dry, then I sealed my tumbler with quick coat from CC DIY, and then I added a coat of epoxy. Now let's add the palm leaves to our keychain. Our tumbler is now ready to add the decal. The decal will be available for purchase in my Etsy shop if you're interested. For my last coat, I mixed in some extra shimmer using smog from Feather Bear Designs. And I just realized, well that count as glitter? I don't think it does, it's like a fine mica, so I didn't cheat. It's not glitter. It's not glitter, right? No, no, it's mica, it's mica. I'll also be adding in some mica flakes just to add a little something extra extra. Now, I would love it if I could have had the same decal on my keychain that I had on my tumbler, but I was not trying to bust an artery trying to weed that decal design to put on that teeny tiny little heart, no ma'am. So I went with this really pretty deco art foil and made a water slide decal. Pretty sure water slide decals will be my method of choice from now on when making keychains, cause Lord mercy. Also, something to take note, different foils need different temps to work perfectly. For example, the gold foil I put through my laminator once with the transfer pouch and then another time without the pouch. For the rainbow holographic foil I just used, it only needed to go through my laminator once. When I did it a second time, the foil attached to the whole piece of water slide. So keep that in mind if you decide to make foil water slides. You may need to experiment with the temperature to find the right setting for the foil you're using.
attached my keychain to a cute wristlet I made and then I was all done. I got this super cute beads, hardware, and accessories from my girl Fauna at Oak Shade and Bead Company. I'll have a coupon code in the description box if you'd like to check her out. She has some adorable gumball beads and accessories. That's it guys! Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your Tropical Vibes pink marble tumblers and keychains, and I'll see you again next time.